Hello everybody, this is Kanora and I have become a game in Oratex. So in last video we have seen how to interface the 7 segment display with the microcontroller. And uh, in this uh, video we are also going to do the same but this time we are going to use the 4 digit 7 segment display. So let me show you. This is the 4 digit 7 segment display. Last time it was only 1 digit. Now you can show the 4 digits or you can uh, vary the number from 0. Uh, 9999 and uh, if you can see there were uh, in last uh, uh, video there were eight pins and one the common cathode pin was there and here you can see eight pins for the data and four pins uh, these are the common cathode pins only but it, we are here we are going to refer it as a select line so this is the select line for this one is for this, two is for this, for this, and four is for this. So we have connected it to the port two and data line to the port one. So let's see how to interface this thing. Let's develop the logic over here. So this is the all program we're gonna need over here, uh, as usually used. And this is port one where we are using the data, and this is the port two where we are uh, connecting the select lines. So let's give the name to our select lines by using sbit register so suppose first name is s1 this is the select number one pin number one give it a name as uh, p24 let's see what is the name number over here one is connected to 2.0 so one is connected to 2.0 same you have to do for the rest of select lines this is the fourth step line give the pin numbers properly so these are our four select lines now we need uh, to send the data before that we will make a logic to different to separate these numbers you cannot uh, you cannot send a thousand if you have to show thousand over here you cannot set thousand directly you have to divide it and separate it and give it like zero then zero then zero and then one this is how you can show the number in here in the four digit display so you have to use the time sharing application how to use that i'm going to show you so this is the logic to make a time sharing uh, uh, algorithm so we're gonna need one variable over here a equals to zero and this is less than nine 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 remember four times nine because our display runs from zero to four times nine only uh, if you are making with two digit then Go with with zero to double nine, then a plus plus. Now run this loop. It will count from zero to nine and nine. Now you have to uh, separate each and every term by each other. Suppose this is you have to name this as unit. This is ten. This is cent, and this is actually this is thousand, but I'm gonna call it kilo. So let's make a variable over here. So declare a, then kilo, then cent, then ten, then uh, unit, and one more you're gonna need that is uh, temp. Oh, sorry, I did something wrong over here. Comma put comma over here. It's not semicolon. It's gonna terminate. It will show you an error. So now put the semicolon. Okay. Now you have to divide whatever the number you will get and save it into the kilos position. That is the thousand position. So divide by thousand. And whatever the remainder you will get, you have to save it in the temporary variable. So divide it by thousand and save the remainder in temporary. Uh, what I just did over here, I will show you uh, in the calculator. Now, 
Now suppose you get any number in the a variable. Suppose this is the four five five five. This number you have got, and you are dividing it by thousand. So what you got is a float number that is four point five five five. But we are saving it into the integer variable. So what is going to happen? It not. Uh, it will just take the left side of the decimal. Uh, and it will neglect the right side of the decimal it will just keep the left side of the decimal into the kilo variable and then what we did here we divided and uh, actually it is a mode sign so when you will divide you get a remainder uh, i cannot show you remainder in uh, in this calculator i think this will work let's see so 4000 mod no this this is showing percentage this, this is going to work so what what will happen over here it will divide by the thousand and then it will give you the remainder suppose there was uh four triple five and it will divide the four triple five and you will get the remainder triple five uh three triple five something uh so that remainder will be saved in the temporary variable and then after you have to divide that temporary variable to get sent 10 and unit so let's do it here let's do for the cent now for the cent you don't have to divide the you have to divide the temporary variable by the 100 and you have to save the new number into the temp save it by divide taking the remainder of 100 now you have to do for the 10 so divide the new temporary variable by 10 and now don't save it in the temporary just save it in the unit because it's over now you cannot divide it more and more and more so more 10 now you have to send these variables to the uh, display so how are you gonna do that by using the select lines first you have to send the unit variable so to send the unit variable you have to first make it on the select four line then you have to make the select four line off and between these two you have to send your digit so how are you gonna do that you will uh, call your array over here that is the count array so this is your p1 the data line is uh, connected to the port one so call your array over here it's it is okay we have to make an array of patterns so i have already made array of patterns so this array has the number from one to ten zero one two three four five six seven eight nine these are ten numbers over here you have to call it so first you have to send the unit variable then you have to give some delay so you can see it. look this is the thousand is a very much delay i'm going to give here why i will show you i want to sh show you the time sharing operation that's why i'm giving too much delay over here so this is for ten variable this is for the send and this is for the kilo I think here we are ready to execute our program so save this and run this let's see any error is there or not okay zero error and zero warning now you have to dump that program okay. now run this okay you can see all are zeros and they are getting turned off one by one and one you can see to they are using the time sharing operation they are 
sharing the numbers one by one you cannot show all the numbers each and every time if you will give all the uh, numbers try to do it then you will get the whatever you are getting here you will get all the numbers over here so that's why you have to use the time time sharing operation but it is not the required output i mean how you can show this like say then wait then wait and what you have to do you have to so minimize the delay so i i'll, I'll just minimize a little bit so you can see you can see the time sharing operation proper now you can see counting but still you can see the delay so you have to do it little more to less then let's see what happens now now you can see you cannot find any delay between these lines but it is there you can see over here it is just uh, not visible to a human eyes that's the error of the human and we are taking the advantage of it so now i think you are understanding that what is the time delay operation so you it's visible like it appears as it is showing that simultaneously all the numbers but not uh, they are sending the numbers one by one just we are the humans we cannot detect it detect the delay over here so you can see it's running so too much fast so so i'm thinking that uh, if you cannot read those numbers like 680 690 700 so if you want to read this number then what you have to do develop the logic and comment down uh, in the in comment box tell me what to do to slow down this counting numbers uh, as a suppose this is the homework for you so thank you guys i think this video was helpful to you so if you think this video is good then please uh, subscribe to my channel keep learning the embedded and if you have any kind of dry query please comment down in the comment box and uh, if your friends want to learn this thing then please share with your friends and keep watching my videos thank you sir thank you thank you so much